books guidance growth welcome to when to read what podcast and this is harshal your host hey guys welcome to when to read what podcast and today we have got author of small is the new big miss sonali sharma she is author of two books and has co-authored more than 35 books hi sonali welcome to the show hi harshal thank you for inviting me uh it has been my pleasure that you came on our show so let me just start off so sonali uh, small is the new big is a very interesting title so can you please take us through the thought process behind naming the book sure you know actually what happens each and every day in and day out you know we plan goals we note down things ki aaj hame ye karna hai wo karna hai but one thing that we tend to ignore is consistent effort and later we realize ki each and every day the small things and small effort that we were placing onto the things chahe wo hamara goal hai chahe academic career hai chahe kuch bhi hai but those small efforts each and every day that we put in that is what actually compounds to a big result what we achieve in future so yahi tha mera thought process iske piche कि स्मॉल लीड्स यू टू द बिग इसके लिए स्मॉल शुड बी द न्यू बिग क्योंकि हम जब कुछ भी करते हैं एवरी स्मॉल कंसिस्टेंट एफर्ट ईच एंड एवरी डे दिस इज व्हाट मेक्स यू काउंट एंड दिस इज व्हाट मेक्स यू अचीव योर होल टारगेट फॉर एग्जांपल जैसे अगर मैं कुछ लिखू एन एफ आई प्लान की हाँ आफ्टर अ ईयर आई वॉन्ट टू लॉन्च अ बुक और अगर मैं ऐसा करूँ कि मैंने दो महीने कंटिन्यूस लिखा एंड देन आई विल से चलो फिर बाद में छह महीने बाद बैठ के कुछ लिख लेंगे this isn't going to give me a fruitful result this will you know somewhere or the other lag me behind ya to mera language degrade ho jayega ya to jo ek wo continuity flow improvisation character allotment whatever it is ye nahi aata that is the reason when we you know keep writing each and every day we keep doing something consistently that helps us to get expertise in particular domain and iski wajah se humne jo each and every day consistently small efforts that we have put in this is what results to the actual target the big one what we wish for so that's why small is the new big and this is the thing and you know it near about took me 3 to 4 days to come up with the actual title ek mahine se i was trying to plan out kuch na kuch alag but you know wo ek suitable part nahi mil raha tha mujhe what i kept writing throughout the book and that's why you know this small title ki small can be the new big and there is where i landed up to the conclusion ki yes i should name the book small is the new big wow uh, actually that was a very uh, awesome explanation of the title and i also personally believe that after reading the books the importance importance of the small steps that we take daily in order to achieve our big results and uh, so i wanted to know what was the driving force that helped you to write this book on this particular topic small is the new big like as you have read the book you know there are small 20 acts that we can implement in our life there were many things actually that happen around but a few things like you know deeply observing few things and especially traveling made me experience so many different things especially like patients being kind to people my college was out of town when and a half hour ka train travel each side so you know going through the trains and slightly observing the people with you know a window seat and a book in hand this was my proper place to sit in train and you know then i started observing people around i started talking with them and then i realized there are so many different people each and everyone has their own particular mindset and as we keep growing you know there's something within us that tends ki chalo ab na koi bhi cheez karni usko khul ke exposure ke sath karte hain we become broad minded we start accepting things we start learning new things and especially small is the new big like it has 20 acts being kind respecting elders and all sort of things and ye jo you know respecting being kind towards people ye sari you know these are our core and basic values and this i realized when i was in my early teens like i can say 9th or 10th standard and dheere dheere jab 11th 12th mein aayi at times you know we tend to um, kya bol sakte hain like kabhi kabhi parents se when we have discussions hame gussa aata hai kabhi kabhi mm-hmm. we think that they don't understand our perspective but the way they try to make us understand the way they you know explain things the common basic values 
norms that prevail in society and hum usse kuch alag kaise kar sakte hain the mythological facts and it to core value moral values of human being which is lacking actually in today's world then i realized ki actually parents are the one who can guide us properly and wo sare basic values dheere dheere you know as we keep growing realize hota hai ki hum koi bhi cheez karte hain we can't achieve anything in one go we require patience so small act of patience being kind we can't just do anything of our greed we have to be patient we have to be tolerable if we live in society and we want to bring in harmony so ye sare jo core basic values hai especially you know targeting young readers targeting teenagers in college life so that you know when they read the book ek to what i have tried to keep it in very simple language to keep it very short and precise because as youngster as teenager i have my friends and i know ki unko reading mein itna interest nahi hai apart from an avid reader definitely wo 500 pages ki book pad sakta hai wo 100 ki padega wo 50 ki padega but targeting a common audience at least who can read you know who can sit and read the book throughout and completely without saying ki yaar ye itni moti book hai main to bore ho gaya mujhse ye puri book padhi nahi jayegi so keeping it very short and precise ye sare thode thode maine points jot down kiye to come up with smallest the new bit ki at least even a common person can read that so yeah this was the background story of smallest the new bit yeah uh, yeah and uh, as of now just now you have mentioned that the small act of kindness so if i remember correctly it is also the first very first chapter of your book so is there any specific reason yeah. that you choose to start uh, start with it uh, there wasn't a particular reason but i feel as we live in a society we live on the planet being kind you know showing kind gesture showing empathy wagera kyunki kindness is the core root wahan se happiness aati hai wahan se empathy aati hai wahan se relations build hote hain so if we be kind towards people around towards the family members towards elders and even the small child you know at times we have an ego ki hum chhoto se kuch nahi seekh sakte but at times even a small child can make you experience a completely different perspective so i think this was the main mindset towards being kind ki maine isko apna sabse first chapter rakha and despite any judgment you know we tend to judge people agar shayad wo itna ameer hai ye ye hai to hum us hisab se behave karte hain logon ke sath but this shouldn't be the concept we should be equally fair with everyone har ek ke sath acche se raho you know talk politely respect others so all these norms and values kindness is the core root that you know uh, holds up everything So I think that was the reason he I chose small act of kindness the very first chapter of my book. Wow! Uh, as you were explaining and uh, and also while reading the book, I noticed that uh, you have asked readers to make uh, to make small changes in their lifestyle and uh, not to take any kind of drastic uh, drastic action or something like that, which will completely alter their life. So please, can you tell me why you uh, why you took the simplistic approach of uh, doing things one day at a time and not uh, going for something big? well not going for something big in the sense ki like whatever we plan in our life it is definitely for long term so mm-hmm. that big is actually for long term but we you know can't rush towards that big goal we can't just directly think ki aaj maine ye socha and i will achieve it what we need to do is like if you have read the book eat that frog which you know tends to guide people through to overcome procrastination so it is you know doing uh, you know focusing upon the biggest target focusing upon long term but breaking things down into short term mm-hmm. so this is what you know i tend to apply in my book ki plan for bigger term plan for long term but what actually matters is small steps that will lead you towards that big whatever you have planned for example mm-hmm. if i say that i want to crack my ca exam ab maine sirf soch liya and if i don't study each and every day in and day out if i don't plan properly if i don't do proper revision i am not going to crack it in one single attempt mm-hmm. so that is the reason you know planning revising focusing and scheduling that proper time and completing each and every chapter day by day i think this small approach will lead me towards the big what i have planned ki ha i will complete it and i will crack my exam in one single attempt so that is the reason i focused in my book 
कि प्लान फॉर बिगर टर्म बट डोंट टेक अ सिंगल बिग स्टेप डोंट जंप टेक ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल स्टेप व्हिच यू कैन व्हिच कैन हेल्प यू अचीव योर गोल uh wow amazing uh, so sonali uh, can you please tell me that uh, what are the three most important small hacks uh, which have actually helped you in your life small three acts firstly it is that drastically impacted me and that you know what the biggest change was a uh, self faith that is believing and ab ye sare three acts na interrelated hai Mm-hmm. firstly it is believing in yourself not taking things personally and being responsible and accountable for your own actions now you know not taking things personally while we keep growing at times you know we feel ki yaar kisi ne mere bare mein ye bol diya someone is telling something bad about me but as we keep growing i realize ki ye to us insaan ka thought process hai that doesn't matter if someone thinks bad for me it is their thought process unke bolne se main wo nahi ho jane wali If someone hmm. says good to me, if I have those qualities, well and good. If not, he can we can improvise and be that. So I think that. Um, क्या बोल सकते हैं? You know, when we get rid of this thing that not taking things personally, it gives you a complete freedom to completely explore whatever you want to explore, to completely learn new things without any hesitation and without thinking. Here, what will the other person think about that? so i think small act of you know not taking things personally and self faith self belief as such in school time i didn't had many friends mm-hmm. <coughs> and i was bullied at times bullied in the sense you know commenting and uh, making a, and a kid who is been made fun of in school who is very i won't say that i was shy because i always used to take part in debates and elocutions i used to win the competitions but when it comes to you know making friend circle so and schools mein aisa hota hai ki ye uska friend circle that person is that mm-hmm. friend circle i was always the one who was being left out so i think i took that in a very good sense that i realized ki solitude in an early age can be a blessing and since and since then i started reading i started writing and when i was in eighth standard i remember there is a local newspaper and जो टाउन्स के लोकल न्यूज़पेपर आई वाज बीइंग इंटरव्यूड बाय देम वहां पे मेरे आर्टिकल्स आने लगे सो आई थिंक द सपोर्ट ऑफ माय मदर शी इज एक्चुअली अ प्रोफेसर सो आई थिंक शी अंडरस्टैंड चाइल्ड साइकोलॉजी सो शी कंप्लीटली गाइडेड मी एंड देन शी टोल्ड की ओके लाइक इफ यू डोंट हैव फ्रेंड्स इन टीनेज में ऐसा होता है पीपल गेट बुलीड बट व्हाट मैटर्स इज हाउ यू ओवरकम इट एंड हाउ यू ओवरकम दैट फीलिंग ऑफ यू नो वनरेबिलिटी लोनलीनेस व्हाटएवर इट इज and focus your mindset towards a productive thing that can that can lead you towards which can you know help you progress which can help you develop personally and as a personality so i think these were the small acts believing in yourself and having self faith i say ki self confidence can be built up with time slowly and gradually but it jo hota hai na khud pe bharosa self faith that is absolutely important and when self faith and self confidence combine we can achieve anything that we wish for yeah uh, yeah totally and uh, what uh, you have just said uh, it is also very uh, means inspiring part of your journey where i think which has completely reflected in the book uh, <laughs> So guys uh, here I am going to make a small announcement so we are uh, we are pleased to inform you that we are giving out some free copies of small is the new big and for that you just need to like this video and subscribe to went to read what and follow the rules mentioned in the description down below and the giveaway is majorly divided into two parts so in the first part sonali is going to choose one best comment who will be getting signed copy of small is the new big and for the second part you need to follow us on our instagram handle of went to read what and uh, uh, we will update you there so now let us just get back to the show uh so sonali now coming yeah. back to the signature question of my podcast which is when to read small okay. is the new big okay <laughs> so a particular timing like see the book is actually for everyone even a small child i won't say a small child maybe the one student who has completed is 9th or 10th standard and the eldest people but i would say if you are someone in your early teenagers if you are someone who is you know just about to enter your college world the undergraduate degree the bachelor's degree whatever it is you can definitely pick up small is the new big because small steps 
small act that are mentioned in the book that can actually really change your life if you implement those small steps. And it's not necessary that you take all the 20 steps to take one step. Implement karo. Try picking up one or two steps, or try picking up those small steps which actually, you know, uh, impacted you while reading the book. It can be empathy, it can be kindness, it can be self faith, it can be being true to yourself, being accountable, responsible, whatever it is. But stick to that one step. You know, try implementing it at least for 21 days, as we say, just in the habit. and slowly and gradually you will definitely see the change in your life and it is a very very small book you can complete it in one sitting definitely so you know chill out aram se padho and as i mentioned if you are especially a college student who is about to enter the college life if you are a, if you are in your early teenagers well and good if you pick up the book and read and yeah padho and implement it and you will definitely enjoy reading the small book फॉर definitely they can check out when to read what ka instagram handle youtube handle and my instagram uh, at author sonali is available where i you know keep posting about freelancing about writing books and some book reviews as even i am a avid reader and you know somewhere or the other i believe ki if you are a writer kahin na kahin reading has an impact because i used to read books since my childhood and i still remember okay this is something apart that i am extracting but i would love uh-huh. to share it with the audience it was ki i started reading uh, near about in my uh, first and second standard and slowly and gradually when i was in my fifth and sixth standard i read sudhamurthy ji's book and i don't know what inspired me her writing so simplified so touching and there was a bookshelf and you know while placing the book back in the shelf there was a thought that stuck in my mind ki kaash one day i have a book on that bookshelf and i think that one thought in my sixth standard and i consistently you know started researching how we can write books my mom who is into hindi literature i used to see her writing scripts and mm-hmm. uh, scripts for anchoring for dramas and plays she used to guide students for debates and elocution competition so i think that uh, process do it was a raw process that helped me reach where i am today with three books on bookshelf and it makes me really very happy So, uh, firstly, thank you for letting me speak so much, and it was a very, very blissful experience being on When to Read What podcast. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, I also think, personally, think that it is, uh, it was an awesome podcast with you. So, thank you so much, Sonali, for coming on the show. And uh, not to mention, I will also share all your social media handles in the link description down below. So, guys, please do uh, make sure to check out Sonali's all the social media handles. And uh, 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 once again, thank you so much, Sonali, for coming on the show. yeah Thank you. uh so until then happy reading small is the new big bye bye yeah bye bye